hello and welcome back to another video october's scroller box has been freshly put through the letterbox and it feels quite weighty it feels quite substantial and there's no give to the top of the box so i'm very interested to see what's inside without any further ado let's just get in there oh we have a palette that's interesting you don't usually get a palette in these it's a very nice little plastic palette there interesting let's get everything out and we can talk a little bit about the supplies okay so let's have a look at the featured artwork so we must be getting some sort of watercolors here or something water soluble anyway i'm not going to count my chickens too soon very nice this is very interesting i like the use of the negative space here that's actually it's kind of hard to do that with watercolors sometimes because they do have a mind of their own but i like that i think that looks lovely so this is the featured artist their name is emily wassell a watercolor artist and educator from the uk very interesting there's some socials down at the bottom there if you'd like to go and check them out which i will be doing very nice very very nice then let's open the front of this zine so that we can see what supplies we have because that's how we are displaying them now and let's get this out. Oh, I already see some very interesting looking supplies. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm making some very shocked noises here. I'm very excited. This is very different. Oh, my light. So the vinyl sticker is just some watercolor pigment there. Very nice. I quite like the mottle effect on that. Then our sweet this month is a missile explosion, liquid-filled bubblegum. Oh, I wonder if it's sour. We love a sour sweet. I will put up my sweet and sour rating, if it is sour, on the screen here. Very nice. Okay, so firstly, we've got Mix It Up, lots of wells for captiva uh, activating mixing new colours and playing with tones. It's just a simple palette there. We have the Spritz, the Spritz Spritz, obviously this is not their names, <laughs> I was saying it and then realised it's not actually the name, use this handy spray bottle to make some really cool effects. This doesn't actually tell me what, oh I guess it's just a Derwent spray bottle, very nice, oh I've always wanted one of these, that's pretty cool, I can get some cool stuff done with that. It kind of, um, if you've seen my vlog lately, you will have seen that I did a haul from London Graphic Centre and I picked up this uh, refillable marker, it's giving me the same vibes, I feel like some cool abstract art is uh, in the in the cards soon. Very nice. Then let's move on to this. We have a water brush, a travel water brush, refillable with an absolutely massive top. I've never seen such a wide paintbrush top before on a on a on a refillable water <laughs> water paintbrush. Anyway, um, very nice. It's kind of difficult to get back in this lid without damaging your bristles, though. So, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And then the main supply in here that I can see are these. So, I love this spread, but it doesn't actually tell me what they're called, what they are. But anyway, let's open them up and we can we'll just read, I guess. Um, I guess you can always do that. So, I've never seen these before. I mean, I've seen watercolour pigments before, but I've never seen... Um, I've never seen these before, so I'm very interested to see what they are. So let's have a look. These are Jackman's Art Materials Crystalline Watercolour. I can't really read that. It's a bit blurred. Ink man oh, something manufacturers of fine art materials. Okay, interesting. This is giving me it's giving me a little bit of the Viviva colour sheets where the actual colour of the pigment doesn't look like the colour that you're going to make um that's what i'm getting especially from this gray violet here so we have gray violet turquoise and midnight violet so some really lovely lovely range of colors there really this is my type of color is this purpley blue type color but it looks like this gray violet is it this green or is that is that for a, i don't know is it this color i don't know we'll have to do some swatching i guess i don't know why i'm questioning it um but very interesting very very interesting i'm excited to try these this is something very new 
the scrawler did hint that it was going to be a very interesting box hence why it was a little bit later than usual um so i'm very excited to use those and then finally the paper we have is just a standard a5 watercolor paper 300 gsm cold press so we've got that nice um dimpling almost like this is how i always think of cold and hot pressed paper cold is dimpled because it's like you've got goosebumps and hot would be a bit smoother in texture so we've got that nice dimpling which will really bring out the texture with the watercolors on there so that'll look really really nice very very excited about this very excited so let's have a flick through of the scroller zine so this is a bit more about the scroller artist which i will be reading off camera we then have some scroller tips and some more scroller tips, which, as always, I will read through and bullet point and summarise for when we are doing the swatching. Then we have the scroller gallery. So this is for two boxes ago when we had the um, alcohol markers and the scroller challenge was point of view. Oh, some really lovely ones in here. Very, very nice. Look at this is incredible. Some of this. Wow. God, I the world is just full of creative people. I absolutely love finding new artists. So I'm going to be following the majority of these, I'm sure. A few people I already follow in here. Not surprised in the slightest. Very, very nice. If you want to be featured in this, make sure whenever you do any art with the boxes, you hashtag scroll a challenge whenever you post it to social media and you have the chance to be featured. And then the top three for that box here very nice oh i like this little like cobbledy street look at the cobbles on that that's crazy very nice and the shadowing on this beautiful 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 very very nice very nice and then the scroller extra is expression in art brian lewis saunders so a little bit more about another artist so i will be reading that and then finally our scroller challenge is loose leaf very interesting that's very autumnal it's very fitting for an October box. Very strange colours for that, I would I would say personally. But I guess that's giving us a bit more abstract, um, something a bit different. Okay, I'm excited about this. I am really excited about this. It's not often, sometimes I do look at these boxes and I think, what, what on earth am I going to do for this? But I'm very excited to play around with these. Really excited to try these pigments out and see what they are like and how pigmented they are whether they do do this graininess how you know i want to ex i want to explore sprinkling spraying everything i want to really play with this I, I think we can get some really exciting things done and i'm really excited to see what we can come up with for the scroller challenge loose leaf so stay tuned we'll do some swatching and then we'll see what art we can come up with so for the scroller tips we have a vast amount there's so many and i think I think that it's needed because these supplies are just, they're just very different. I, I, I've not come across them um, other than having, you know, pre-mixed pigments via like the Viva colour sheets and pans and whatnot. So um, they're very, very different. And there's a lot of tips for wetting your page, using the spritzer, sprinkling your pigments, um, just a, a vast array of things and then also teaching you how to use this very large thick paintbrush which I will admit was very very thick I did struggle with the paintbrush and um, but it's telling you to angle it fill it keeping it clean you know all the usual stuff um, and also just some artist advice is uh, just start painting for anyone who's a perfectionist or feels like they would never be good at painting it's easy to keep putting it off you learn by doing so just grab your paints and have a go remember too that it's just paper if you hate the painting when it's done you can throw it away and nobody will know take the pressure off and just have fun and i definitely felt like i really embodied that during this process i struggled with i struggled with um coming up with an idea i must admit I'm, i've started this a bit later on i didn't start it as soon as i received it i had a market that weekend and then i had you know, I had a, I've got commissions on the go and I've got Christmas updates to do. So I, I'm struggling to find the time to do the scroll box at the moment. And it definitely showed that I felt a lot of pressure to, to put out a really nice painting using supplies I've never used before. And so I really tried to just, just not and just really be free and allow the watercolours to kind of take me. And I will say 
these watercolors are so messy the pigments get everywhere it stained my very light wood desk i had to get some sif cream cleaner and really give it a scrub and thankfully it all came off um but if you are intending to use this do use them on a surface that you're happy to get messy and that you are feeling like you can get messy yourselves because the pigment does get everywhere but in my tests the pigments once fully mixed up are so pigmented that you definitely need only a little sprinkle to create the colour you want unless you want that very deep hue um, but using them in a sprinkling on wet paper way was actually my favourite as you saw there I was just testing that out um, and then just a little bit of self promo here this is my mini mushroom series washi tape I designed this, painted all the mushrooms and had this printed so if you do like this please head on over to my website www.lucylocksart.com and you can purchase it over there um, but I wanted to tape down my paper because I knew I would be getting it very very wet and I didn't want it to warp so that is another tip within the scrawler tips that I used and I always use actually when I do watercolours um, but if you need any washi tape do head on over there you can purchase yourself some um, but yes in terms of painting so my first initial test with this paint was to do a succulent so the colours really reminded me of very bluey green succulents and so I got reference photo up and I started just painting I did sketch it out at first and then I thought why am I doing this I need to kind of like like the the tip said I need to be free and just not put pressure on and really just start painting so I did I rubbed out of the sketch and I just started painting and it was going really nice I really liked it I started off with the nice turquoise color um, and then added in a little bit more of the midnight violet and then finishing off with darkening up with the gray violet and it was lovely lovely paint to work with and like I say it's so pigmented I had to really water it down and this is kind of after adding all the colors and I just wanted to add a little bit of extra stuff so I spritzed the edges and then I started to tap on the gray violet because there's a lot of yellow pigment in that you wouldn't think it would turn to the violet color that it does and so I wanted to add the the greeny colors back into the succulent a little bit so I'm sprinkling it on the edge and I really love this painting at this point and I definitely definitely should have left it here I have definitely done the case of overworking a painting so shortly you'll see that I added a sprinkling of the turquoise a sprinkling of the midnight violet oh you won't see that because I cut it out <laughs> so yes I definitely added too much and then I spritzed over it to think I don't know what I was thinking but it just messed up the entire painting and it looked rubbish so I thought let's try again let's try something else so I did a nice gradient of the three colors and these colors blend so beautifully I highly recommend using them to blend they're so pigmented they almost look like ink when you when they dry they're beautiful beautiful colors um and then i thought i would just paint on some water once this had dried into the shape of some leaves and then sprinkle on that gray violet again i was really loving the fact that there was so much yellow pigment in there and if used correctly you can really bring out that greeny color um and i was really enjoying that i was very much enjoying that um but that is kind of it for my paintings I didn't really come up with a painting I was really happy with but given the time constraints I was putting on myself I know there's nothing that you guys are putting on me um I just couldn't come up with something in my head but what I will say is I loved these pigment powders they are very much well worth the money the pigment powders the spritzer and the water brush all came to well over the 20 pounds you are spending on this box very very much worth it and I did go on to Jackman's Art Materials and I did purchase another seven pigment powders because I'm excited to try these and implement them into my work more often. So I am very impressed with the supplies. Please let me know if you are too, whether you enjoyed them, whether you found them too messy or whether you thought they were really cool to get all these different shades of colours even though that once mixed together they are very different colours. So please let me know your thoughts on this box. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.